Hey cat friends, Rob here from Product Central, Feline Lifestyle Products, and this is a beard. Testing, testing, testing. Good evening, ladies and Concert tonight. So today, I'm going to demonstrate again why what I build is superior to what you see in pet stores. So the other day, I had a client come in and they brought this uh, scratching post, which, as you see, is kind of broken. I'll show you why in a second. I want to see it work. Where's the subject? I want to see it work on a person. And let's get catty! So it came in not broken, or at least we figure it wasn't broken, but uh, one of his two cats must have done something, or maybe one of his kids, you know, rested against it and wrecked it. Um, I'll show you what's going on here. So first of all, what's really odd is there's is two pieces. It's like, yeah, it's, it's two pieces, but what they did is they took... Uh, a Forstner bit, they, they drilled halfway in, and then they took a giant washer and a furniture fastener, a furniture bolt, I, I call them, and yeah, they, they kind of just sort of sandwiched it together somehow. And of course, this being particle board, which is essentially just pressed sawdust, uh, yeah, it's not a structural lumber. It's not structural wood at all, it's junk and um, it broke. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this part, which is its own travesty, but I'll show you that right now. So it comes off. So it's one of those cardboard tubes with the plastic ends. Um, probably cost them 20 bucks or something like that, uh, whatever. Um, so here's Here's the only part of this entire thing that's actually quality, this right here. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep that. We're actually gonna keep this. And believe it or not, we're gonna keep this carpet, even though it's practically AstroTurf. Now that we got the uh, thing off, yeah, as you can see, it was basically just two pieces of six inch, probably leftovers from, I don't know, some other manufacturing process in that plant. But yeah, it uh, got reefed on a bit and it split. So we are gonna pop all the staples out. We're gonna cut a piece of, uh, this looks like probably half inch, no? I would suggest it's probably five eighths. We'll use five eighths anyway. Um, we're gonna use a solid piece of five eighths plywood and we're gonna take a Forstner bit. We're gonna put that same hole in that was actually not a bad idea, other than this is not structurally sound. And yeah, then we'll put the carpet back on and voila, we got it fixed. So let's do that. Okay, this comes out, look at that, just, wow, I really thought that through. Okay. Okay, this time we're going to record with our lapel mic. Um, that was kind of stupid, but that's okay. Uh, so we got the piece, it's cut. It's actually 11 and a half by 11 and a half, which is kind of an odd number, but whatever. Um, fits in here nicely. But we're not gonna put the carpet on quite yet. First, we need to grab a straight edge. 
Now we're gonna figure out where the middle is. Because that's really hard to do. Wow, that's difficult. Oh, that's hard. Ooh, super difficult. Now, what are we gonna do with that? We are going to take a Forstner bit, appropriately sized, and we're gonna put it in about, yeah, about an eighth of an inch, maybe a little bit deeper than that. And so let's uh, show you that process. I need to see it. We're gonna use this fun little device that's basically like a portable drill press. And we're gonna line up the Forstner bit. Yeah, let's see what happens. We need to put a hole in there as well that is going to fit for this thing. Hey, okay, we're gonna try kind of a dry fit. See what happens. This doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to go through. See, some of my bits are sharp. So the whole point of putting this uh, little recess in here, so that when we put the hardware in, as you see, be nice and flush. It's not though, because we get a little, way, a little ways to go here. Although this is a nicer fit and finish. There we go. That's sliver. Ooh, that's a nice sliver. Enough. I'm going to try again. That is better. In fact, that's perfect. So we'll do kind of a dry run here. As though this was being reinstalled. And for the record, no, I don't think this is an appropriate size scratching post for an adult cat. I think this is a fantastic scratching post for a kitten. Kittens grow up. Don't buy kitten trees. My cat tree will grow into it, trust me. See, I mean, while it's infinitely better, it won't break unless a kid really reefs on it. Um, I think you got bigger problems if that happens. So, we're gonna put the carpet back on, and then we've got ourselves a uh, successful repair. Kind of a refurbish, if you will. Okay, Mr. Staple Gun. By the way, is this bothering you? I'm doing it completely at random. That, that's not bothering you, is it? That's done. Now let's get all the sawdust off. I'm sure they don't want it to come back looking like that. Okay. Might not even need a tool to do this. I might just spin right on. Uh, nah, we'll do tool. Okay, let's do a uh, final tightening. There we go. Okay, nice and sturdy. At least to the extent that this could be sturdy because this is a hollow cardboard tube and well, yeah, probably the best part of it's now the base, but it's done. We have our 
perfectly good scratching post based on what the uh, client wanted. Um, what can I say? Nice easy fix and uh, they'll probably get another few months out of it at least until uh, something else catastrophic happens. Until next time, stay safe, have fun, and um, thank you for getting catty with me. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe and click that bell, and I'll see you next time.